it's Jenna and today I'm going to be filming my iPhone case collection video and I am really excited about this because I am in love with iPhone cases and I feel like I finally have enough to consider a collection so this is what I keep all of my cases in and I'm just gonna get right on to the video so I hope you enjoy it so I'm just gonna show you all of my cases in the order that I got them and this was my first phone case and it is just a pink rubbery flexible case and I don't ever use it because I don't really like it I don't really like the color but um I just got it because I was really scared that I was gonna drop and break my phone right whenever I got it so I got it at T-Mobile as a temporary phone case and I don't know it has like a texture pattern type of thing on it from the brand Incipio I think I pronounced that right I'm not sure but yeah this was my first iPhone case not very exciting and the second one I got is this one and it looks it looks kind of wooden. I got it from Five Below. It was like $3. It's really bad quality, like really thin and not good for your phone. Not protective at all, but I thought it was nice to not have to use the pink one. So I just kind of got it on the spot and it's kind of like scratchy and I don't know. It's really bad quality, but I do like the way that it looks. It's really pretty. And then this was my first phone case that I actually really liked. It is um, a customized phone case from cellphoneshop.net. I used a Tumblr picture to customize it and unfortunately, I don't know why, but cellphoneshop.net closed down their online store which makes me really mad because this was like $10 which is really good for a customized case and it's really protective. It's rubber but it's not really like bendable rubber. Yeah, this is what it looks like really like this one and then I discovered eBay to buy phone cases they have the nicest phone cases and this was the first one that I got from eBay it is a colorful sunflower case and the only bad thing about this case is it's really unprotective I think it was only like two dollars though this is what it looks like up close it's just really colorful sunflower hard case unprotective they're really hard to get off of your phone too. If you guys have hard cases, you probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this was my first eBay case that I got. And then the second one is probably the weirdest case that I have. This is what it looks like. And I don't know, it's a deer. I think it's smoking a cigarette. It has two human hands. I don't know, it was like a dollar. It looked a lot cooler online and yeah, it's really weird. Um, it's a hard case, again, really unprotective, but it was really cheap, so I guess it's what you get for your money, and this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna link all of these down below in case you're interested in buying these. And yeah, this one's really weird, but I don't know. I really like it. And then the next case that I got from eBay is just this completely clear one. It's really bendy, which I like because it's easy to get on and off of your phone. And it's really protective and I like it because you can still see like the color of your phone. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see if you can. Yeah, it gets so fingerprinty and gross and like sticky almost. Like it makes me feel like my hands are always really dirty whenever I'm using it. So I don't really use this one anymore, but I did really like this phone case. And then the next phone case that I have from eBay is definitely my favorite case for sure. It is this tie-dye case and it's red, green, and yellow tie-dye, and it is from the brand Turita. Turita, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It is a hard case. It's a lot thicker than most of my other hard cases though, so it's a little bit more protective, but the only thing that's bad about this case is it is so hard to get off. It is definitely like the hardest to get off out of all the hard cases that I have, but I guess since it's a really nice case, it's not too bad to have stuck on your phone. It's just really pretty. This is what it looks like. This brand has a lot more like color options and design options for the tie-dye cases, so I'll definitely put it in the description if you guys are interested in buying it. And then this next case I got is from PacSun, and I really like this. It is a light blue and red and pink and orange and a bunch of different colors. Um, I think it's an Aztec design. I think that is what you would call it. 
This is what it looks like. It was on sale around Christmas time at PacSun. I don't know, I really like it. Um, it's a hard case, but unlike most of the other hard cases, I don't know if you can tell, but the inside is kind of fuzzy, so I think it's a little bit better for your phone. So this is what it looks like, and I got it at PacSun. And then the next case I got, I am in love with. It is a Vans case, and the bottom of it looks like a shoe and it is so bendy and nice so it's really easy to get on and off your phone and it's really protective it goes around the bottom pretty nicely and it has the vans logo let me see if it'll focus yeah it has the vans logo on it and then it has it again on the inside so i am in love with this case i just really really like it because i love vans and it's just really easy to get on and off your phone and then the next case I got, I really like this one too. It is a donut case because I am in love with donuts and I thought this was the perfect case for me. <laughs> and it's another like bendy case because I kind of stopped buying hard cases because they just annoyed me so much. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just white. I got this one off of eBay. I got the Vans one off of eBay too. And this is what it looks like. It's just a bunch of different donuts makes me really happy i love this case and then the next case that i have is just a plain black really really rubbery bendy case it's like extremely bendy and i like it a lot but it kind of is a little bit loose on my phone i mean it fits really well but i don't know it's a little bit loose i feel like it might stretch out eventually and my phone will fall out of it but as of right now it's really nice and protective and then the last case that I have is the one that's on my phone. Definitely one of my favorites. It is my pizza case. And I got this one off of eBay too. This is what it looks like. Just pizza. And it's a rubber case, but it is really not flexible at all. So I had a hard time getting my phone in it. But um, it's really, really protective and thick. It actually makes my phone kind of heavy. Um, if you drop it, I don't think anything will ever happen to your phone. It's so protective. And you can pick um, black or white and hard or rubber. So if you want like a thin hard case like this one, you can pick that. And then if you want a rubber one like this one, you can pick that. And I definitely recommend the rubber one because it is so protective. And I don't know, I just really like this case because I love pizza and kind of has like an acid looking design behind the pizza. I don't know, this case is awesome. And those were all of my cases, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will put all of the links in the description, so in case you want to buy any, you can buy them. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye!